Hello, I'm Menez Bazard, and this video is to demonstrate the functions used for the program for TI-89 available at www.ti89.com. And this program specifically is Statistics Made Easy. And we're going to be doing confidence intervals. First, you read the problem once, and then you read the problem again, selecting all given data. And for confidence interval we're going to turn the calculator on first we're going to go on the home page and we're going to go to stats and probability program that you've downloaded into your calculator enter and we're going to wait for it to think about it till it pops up okay and the confidence interval function is f4 as you can see it says ci that's for confidence interval you go f4 then we're going to read the problem. It says, a survey of 144 retail stores revealed that a particular brand model of VCR retails for $375 with a standard deviation of $20. And the first question we want to answer is, what is the 95% confidence interval to estimate the true cost of the VCR? Okay, now we're going to go read the problem again. It says, a survey of 144. That's the number. So you put your 144. The N equals 144. Retail stores reveal that a particular brand of model of VCR retails for $375. That's the X bar. That's the mean price of all the VCRs they have in the store. With a standard deviation of $20, say, it could be $395 or $355 within that range. That's the standard deviation, $20. So now we go down here. We go to, we already have our calculator at the, in the distribution. Now we go, we went to F4 and we're going to go to uh, number three because we know the, the mean and the standard deviation is known. That's what's given in the problem. So we go to F4, number three, enter. Now we, they're asking us for the mean. So the mean is 375. You put 375 and you go down. Now they're asking for us for the standard deviation, which is $20, 20. And then you go down and then they said they they surveyed 144. So you put 144 in, and then you go down. They said the confidence level was 95%, right? That's what we're looking for, the 95% confidence interval. So you fly out, and you go down to 95, which is number 5, enter. Then you enter one more time, and you see it gives you, it gives you the, the formula, then it starts putting the numbers into the formula. You enter it again. It computed all the formulas. And then it gives you the answer. The answer is $371.73 between $371.73 to $378.26. You look on your test and you look for those numbers. And on this particular test, there is not that number there and that is the correct answer we put none of the above <laughs> and it's as simple as that 